Hi guys, last time I care and welcome back to my YouTube channel. But today's video, we are going outside. Summer is here, which means it's almost the end of first year, and I thought it'd be great for me to gather my friends so we can share with you what our experience has been like so far. So everyone's experience is a bit different. You're gonna see some familiar faces. There are also gonna be some new faces in this video. I just wanna really emphasize that everyone's journey through medical school is different and we should all be respectful of each other's journeys. And this is just to give you an idea of what to expect when you do come here. And no, there's no right or wrong way. Everyone just has different experiences. I have people who, who are on the second year to share that experience. I also have people who've done a degree before, who've either taken a break or done an undergrad degree share their experiences so you can get a flavor some experience so let's meet them hi guys my name is real um i'm first year medical student obviously <laughs> hi my name is zaher i'm a first year medical student i moved on to first year from foundation here last year so yeah hi i'm Catherine, and i'm a first year medical student hi i'm hannah i'm a first year medical student my name is ali i'm a first year medical student my name is Avi, I'm also a first year medical student. Hi, my name is Avi, I'm a first year medical student at the University of Plymouth. Hi, my name is Lindsay, I'm a first year medical student. Uh, hi, my name is Ibukan, I'm a second year medical student at Plymouth University. Hi, my name is Lauren, I'm a first year medical student here at Plymouth uh, Medical School. Um, I came from a background where I did an undergraduate degree in biomedical science and then I worked in a professional laboratory for two years. Hi guys, my name is Sadad, I'm a first year medical student. Undergraduate degree in nutrition exercises health. Hi, I'm Priscilla, I'm a first year medical student. Hello, my name is Mira Naka, and I'm a first year medical student at Plymouth. So, what has been your experience of the course so far? Initially, I was like, what am I doing with my life? Um, it's been tough actually. Um, it's been a tough year. Well, so far, it's been good. It's been up and down with emotions, a lot of work. Uh, it's been stressful. <laughs> First, it's been okay. So, it's quite stressful at the beginning obviously because it's a transition. So um, straight away it was essays and then in January it's exams. So it's quite stressful at the beginning. At first it's been really good. Um, a lot of space for growth. It's been, it's been amazing. Some good upsides, some downsides. It's been up and down. I think for the first month I struggled, even though I did the foundation year. Because it's very fast paced. It's nothing like foundation year. It's it's too fast paced. So whereas in foundation year they was they would teach us something in one hour, here they would teach you that same thing in half an hour. I think overall I am enjoying the course. I think everyone goes through phases of sort of self-doubt. Um, but there's certain times on the course, especially when I'm on placements or learning anatomy, which sort of reminds me why I'm here. So so far it's been quite hard. Um I didn't think it's mostly like content-wise and understanding but it's like the workload uh for me i like to have notes on every single like lecture i like to you know be very very meticulous and prepared but with the amount of content that we have it was not possible for me to do that so i struggled with that i quickly had to learn that i can't have notes on everything i can't do everything i'm just gonna have to let some things go and that's okay so there is a lot coming at us at once and Balancing like personal life and also balancing education has been something that has been very hard to do. Like finding the time to make notes after lectures and then prepping for the next one. It's very, very hard. So how has your first year been so far? First year has been great. It's been a surprise. Um, there's a lot of similarities between working and coming back to university, but there's also a lot of differences. It's been really interesting to learn all the different aspects and elements of medicine. Compared to my undergraduate degree, it was more like holistic in terms of the healthcare we learn, um, specifically on the community side of it, which is like massively healthy though. One of the biggest things that I've noticed is you have to have a lot more discipline at university. Um, because at work, you kind of go to work and you leave your work in the facility um, you can go off and enjoy your weekend or enjoy your evenings because everything you do is paid for and you do it whilst you're at the job whereas at university the work follows you around you always have a deadline you always have an exam to study for so it, you need to be disciplined in how you structure your work so that it doesn't overtake your whole life so you have to make sure you keep on track in a way so it, it was very hard for me at first because i was like i didn't know what was happening i couldn't keep up with the workload and um, I didn't have as much 
fun as I did last time. So it's a bit chaotic at first. But now I think I'm okay. You know, I've set it in well, and it just takes that time. That adjustment period takes time. It's also this year I feel like I've spoken to a lot more people than I would have last year. It's like because then you have different modules like EBL, like jigsaw, clinical skills, it's all different people, so it makes you talk to um, people you probably usually wouldn't have, so it's good in that as well. Yeah. What would you say your experience has been on being on the second year? A roller coaster, a lot, a uh, fast, fast roller coaster, but I feel like the transition from year one to year two. It's like all of a sudden you start knowing things and everything starts clicking and making sense. Um, what has been the biggest difference for you from foundation year to first year? Okay, the main difference, I would say, it's um, the workload. The workload. The workload. The double, triple, if no more, the amount of work. Um, you don't have Fridays off, <laughs> which is which makes a huge difference. Um, well, first year has definitely been a lot more tough than foundation year. Um, in some areas I feel like foundation year does prepare you for first year in others I'd say it probably doesn't. In foundation year we had work but it was more like A-levels. I personally found um, A-levels a lot harder than the foundation year but that was my personal experience. In foundation year it's like A-level content so if you've done A-levels before um, it kind of touches that so but also in like first year the first like six modules or topics are like so uh, your lungs, your kidneys, and heart, cardiovascular. So you've done that in A levels. I would say the variety of content that we're taught. Uh, last year was very biomed. On the foundation, it was very biomed and um, anatomy based. Whereas this year, we have clinical skills. We even do statistics. I'm not sure why, but um... your experience and exposure to everything about medicine is completely different as well. It's a lot more clinical now. You get to see everything face to face. Um, what was the question again? <laughs> um, what would you say the biggest difference has been for you moving into first year? Yeah, um, moving first year. I think uh, foundation year was, for me personally, a little bit more difficult. Only because I stressed more. Do you know what I mean? Because you're, you're moving into uni, you think you have to work a lot. Um, but then going into first year, you become adapted to uni lifestyle and everything. So for me, it became much more easier. Which, so for a lot of people, it's not going into first year. Um, the time you spend in uni from maybe eight hours a week in foundation year to at least 20 hours around a week so that's a massive difference mm -hmm. yeah that was a very big jump i'm not gonna sugarcoat it or even try to scare anyone but it was a really really big jump um the idea of not having much lectures i wouldn't say the work was easy but it was chilled they said they were preparing us for first year but I don't agree with that. But then I realised just how much the foundation year had prepared me. Um, and even now, there's the stuff from foundation year, which I'm still using, is relevant in class. It, it was a big move. It was a big move and I didn't expect it to be this big as they didn't tell us it was going to be this big. But once you get used to it, it's okay. So the biggest difference for me has been I've not been able to work, um, been on the first, um, the first year. I've In foundation year, I was able to work on the weekends, even sometimes in the week, and as you know, I'm a self funder, so I really have to like work to pay my bills. But I've not been able to do that, and now I'm gonna have to spend all my summers and all my holidays just going to medical school. Is really a full time job. It really is. So when on the weekends when I'm supposed to be working, I have to like catch up on notes. I have to catch up on lectures. It's just it's a lot. You need more determination. Um, you need more time. You need to be time efficient. <laughs> Same thing in foundation year as well, but I feel like for first year especially because there's a lot. You're learning clinical skills, EBL, jigsaw, and on top of that, two exams and another four. In total, you're sitting six exams in one year, which is quite a lot, especially in med school. But yeah, so the jump is quite big. In first year, it's just constant content and you know, examinations. But I think with any course over time, like as you increase, there's more workload. I think I'm trying to balance it more. I think like last year, um, because I had less to do, I wasn't really like strict with my time, but this year I found that I have to be. In foundation year, I didn't really do a lot of prep work. I sort of learned stuff as I went along in, in the class. Whereas this year, if you show up to um, LSRC, not having done the prep work, you will struggle. There is no cuddling moment, no like cradling or anything. You just get thrown into it. 
foundation is the first is just the amount of exams you have, um, the amount of stress you have. And it, so in foundation, your exams are slightly easier if you put the revision in. And you only have to do is pass 60%. Whereas in first year, it's like you have to match the cohort. And if you don't pass, get the mean, you kind of actually fail. So that's kind of stressful that bit there. The exams on the first year are a lot more difficult than they are on the foundation year. Um, there's just a lot of content packed into one and the way they apply the questions are just different. The knowledge tests I think like are just different than the spot test that the foundation year gives. So I think the way you revise as well is different because you have to do like large moments of like content. Whereas last year it was like spot a test so it was like you only had to do a little bit of revision of content before the test. So doing my undergraduate degree in biomedicine, I actually did it at Plymouth as well, so it's really easy for me to compare. Um, I would say the biggest difference is the applied science aspect of medicine. So with biomed, it was a lot of theoretical learning. You, you look at something in minute detail, you go right down to the bottom of it, you understand it from a molecular level up to you know a cellular level essentially. Um, but you don't go further than that. Whereas with medicine, you um, learn about molecules and you learn about molecular level stuff, but the level of detail that you go into is a lot more surface and there's a lot more of it because you're expected to apply it um, to a human body as opposed to looking at you know, the absolute minutiae of a pathophysiology. I think like my degree in nutrition was massively coursework centered so i had a lot of time with my assignments um but that's just not the same medical school it doesn't translate as well specifically like the breadth of knowledge that we do as well we have to learn um it's quite challenging but i'm hoping for a challenge what advice would you give anyone coming to um first year like either from foundation or from college the first advice if you're doing this for money just run just don't do it i would say to have confidence in yourself um, when I came to first year, even though I'd just done the foundation year, I still thought I was a lot more, I thought I was pretty stupid compared to my um, other course mates who just come straight from school. Have fun as well, like try to have a balance. Just be friendly, make friends with people in the year because you'll be put with different people throughout. The whole five years you'll constantly be jumbled up with loads of different people and you need to get used to like just talking to everybody. Definitely don't fall behind and don't be afraid to ask people for help and by people I don't just mean like lecturers but I mean like people in the years above as well because they can help you with revision tips and like resources and any other questions that you have and even stuff like balancing your time because I personally have a job alongside you as well so like balancing your time and you know your social life your just all aspects of your life like you know they can really help you and I would say an advice that I'd like to give foundation medical students going into first year is learning your anatomy and physiology. I feel like that will go a long way for you, especially when you get to year one and they're teaching anatomy and physiology, especially in the LSRC rooms. Um, with the applied medical knowledge, something you'll be really, really surprised to do when you get here. Um, it will go a long way for that. Best advice is to actually prepare for it. So if you're doing a foundation year, or if you're coming on to here next year, just don't think, oh, I'm going to be fine or what they taught me in foundation year is going to be enough because it's not going to be enough. Don't think because you've done really, really well in your foundation year or take another degree or anything, don't take that for lightly for medicine because it's different. And because you've done really well, it's really good because you got in, but just be careful to have the same approach. You have to like find a different approach and start on the revision of the content early and start on the notes early and make sure you use a good system for that. I thought of it as nothing to be honest. I was like, you know what, it's fine, foundation yeah, get into it easy, that's it's alright. But just do a bit of work every day. I didn't do that. Um got myself. In in tough situations to get out of, um, but do a little bit of work every day and you should be fine. Take breaks actually. <laughs> so go for go for a swim or stuff like that. Um, at the start I was trying to get on top of everything and I wasn't having fun but later I was just like you can do both you see people do both and it is possible but you just have to be like regimented with your time what about those that are coming from college I would say try to get a lot of work experience even even if you're not able to get work experience like expose yourself to the clinical world um and also learn terminologies I feel like that's a useful key as well um understand what certain words mean for example like sepsis um 
hypo, hyper, all of those tiny little things just before you get into medical school. You can get a head start. Have a look at the reading list. Go over the basics that you've learned in your A-levels or things that you might have forgotten if you've been working or if you've done another degree. Try and figure out, piece together a few little pieces before you come to university because it will really help you to piece it all together once you're here. You don't have to revise the whole summer, but just before you need, just look over the content because they're going to give you the content. You have the content for the whole year, right at the start of the year. Just, just look over it and prepare yourself. So organize yourself. If you know that you have a teach tomorrow in LSRC about the heart, just go over it the day before. Prep for your lectures, prep for your LSRCs, your plenaries, prep, prep. What advice would you give someone who is coming from a degree into medicine? I think the most important advice I'd have is don't neglect your degree. So for me, like specifically, like I found my learning sort of vision style through my degree and I've sort of implemented that in my medicine, uh, my first year right now. And it's like massively helped me, like if I'm catching up with topics or I need to quickly revise something the day before. The main things that I wish that I would have done is I would have started trying to become more disciplined before starting the degree. Whether that's just taking up a new hobby and trying to stick to it, just getting something in place where you're, you, you take it up and you stick to it. Because one of the hardest things that I've found adapting to uni from work is um, being disciplined in my home study. So you, you go to uni, you do your lectures, and then you come home and you've got a lot of home study to do. So making sure that you have that discipline to sit down and do something new, learn about something new, is absolutely essential. My advice is please go to your lectures. Go to your <laughs> I know it sounds kind of dumb, like, why would you go to medical school and go to lectures? Some people don't go to lectures, go to your lectures. Um, also, if you come from a more like biomedical degree or scientific approach like don't be afraid to use that like don't neglect it in your medical career because it's going to help you down the line in some way so don't go into it thinking you can do flashcards because that is not realistic like the amount of content you, you're not going to do a flashcard for all of the content like i'd say don't i'd say scrap that that's an a-level thing that's fine but like not for medical school find a different way that works for you blurting is really useful and te doing teachers with your friends, do that instead. I know there are some lectures that people don't find as useful. It might be like the psychological one or the sociological one. Trust me, that comes up a lot in the exam. And a lot of people that didn't really think much about that are regretting it now. So please, please go to your lectures. Even the ones that you might find boring or maybe you don't think is as interesting, go to them. They matter a lot. I know that when I go in knowing that oh this is what we're going to talk about today and I've done the prep work and I've gone maybe even through the slides I'm much more confident understanding and like making notes after as well rather than just going in hoping to get as much as I can and then leaving and then like even the time that I spend making notes when I don't prep is way longer than when I do prep so I'd advise to prep and my final question to you is, are you still enjoying or do you still love medicine? Um, so I actually <laughs> Um. Um. It's. Um. Can't lie now. Do I still like it? <laughs> when did I have a life? No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying medicine because it's something I want to do. I'm not in it for the money, so yeah. I, I am enjoying medicine. Um, uh, we do still love medicine. Like we do love revising for our AMK, learning pathologies for like our next years. I would say overall I am. I think I definitely go through waves. I think I go from one extreme to the other. Like I really don't want to be here or I love it. And I sort of wish I could have find that middle ground of just getting on with it. Um, but I think with time, I will just sort of level, level out and stop moaning all the time. <laughs> yes, it's a lot, but I actually enjoy like the anatomy, the physiology, clinical skills, like those are one of my favourites, so yeah, I'll say I am. Yeah, most of the time I do, but then the times I spend at library till 3 o'clock in the morning before an exam, I have no idea, not as much, but overall it's a great experience that I do not really enjoy it. Honestly, it's hard, but I can't say that I'm not enjoying it, it's something that I've wanted to do for a very long time, and Life is like that, you know, not everything is easy, so it's been hard, but 
there are the enjoyable moments. Clinical skills is very nice. I'd say I am enjoying it. I really enjoy the clinical store. There's always like the moments where you feel like, oh my God, why am I doing this? But then you always end up in a situation on like a clinical or like a placement and you're going, okay, this is why I'm doing this. Like, I really love this. So yeah, I do think, I like, I still wouldn't change anything about it, even though I've had a bit of a bumpy day this year, so. I enjoy, I am, yeah. I enjoy some aspects more than others, but um, I think what I don't like about the course is just being constantly under assessment all the time, but you know, that can put pressure on you, of course, it can put pressure on anyone, but um, I, I really like the, you're always like busy, like that's what I kind of like about it, like it, you're, you never forget that you're a student. <laughs> it's a lot. Overall, I am, enjoy I am enjoying it, sorry. It is a lot of work, um, but generally, you, you just have to, you just have to, I'll be real. You just have to enjoy it. Um, I am enjoying medicine and I do still love medicine. At the moment, in first year, it's hard to picture using it because it seems so far away. I mean, it's four years away, um, but first year's gone so fast and I can't wait to be able to actually apply the knowledge that I've learned in placements in my third, fourth and fifth year. Are you enjoying the course so far? Yeah, definitely. It's, like I said, it's, um, it's an enjoyable course, um, regardless of what uni you go to. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fun. It's good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it so far. I'm not going to lie. Um, I feel like medicine is just sort of like, it's one of those interesting subjects. You just never know what you're going to get or what you're going to learn. So yeah, I'm excited to see where it takes me. Um, yes, I yes I am. I am enjoying it. Um, I love learning new stuff. Um, I love just knowing that I can learn a lot about the human body and being able to like understand that it's, it's great. I think I find it very fulfilling. So yeah, I am enjoying it. And I'm looking forward to the coming years. When I understand the topic, it's quite nice. Like um, recently we were doing contraception and pregnancy, something like that, conception and pregnancy. Um, I really enjoyed that because I understood what was going on. But in general, it's a very interesting course. It makes you understand your body, the body of others, and it's just a lot of education, which I like, even though it's hard. Um, I, and it, sometimes I do think, why am I doing this? And I just want to run away and not do it anymore. But then you get to do placements and you get to meet patients and then they make you realise why you're actually doing this. So yes, I am enjoying it. Yeah, 100%. I think everyone has a different experience with medicine. Like coming in, I was uh, ready to study a lot, obviously just fully 100% put my effort into all work but thinking back on it now there's so many other things with medicine that they don't really tell you things like building relationships with people building friends that's the thing that helps you get past everything if you actually want to do it and you're actually passionate you are going to enjoy this because you get to actually do a lot of placements you're going to meet patients and you're going to learn things from those patients and you're going to realize why you're doing this What's your name? Okay, my name's Hannah. I'm on the first. Barry, this is so nervous. Why am I nervous? It's so awkward. It's so awkward. <laughs> I know, it's weird. I feel like I have to go right. I don't know how to do this. Yeah, okay, it looks good. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Tell me though if it's still there. <laughs> it's still there, it's not going. Anywhere. It's fine. <laughs> Is that better? Can I just zhuzh it up a bit? Zhuzh it, zhuzh it. Let me okay. see you zhuzh it. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Okay, okay. Is that better? Okay. Be honest, because I cry. <laughs> I'm so, like, it goes so fragile. I'm so dumb. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, cool, cool. Alright, oh, so I'm going to do it. Uh, uh, can I smell? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Hi, I'm Priscilla. I'm um, a first year medical student at the Feminism Medical School. Increase that volume. Okay. Today's video, I wanted to share with you guys the difference. Oh, <laughs> should we start over? Yes. Yeah. So, so I decided to go now. Hi, my name is Lindsay. I'm a first year medical student, and um... <laughs> make sure you have um, 
build a lot of friends, connections. <laughs> switch up your karma. Med medical degree, degree, whatever. Um, <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> you do well. I'm sorry. You do so well. Okay, continue. I got. You're just gonna edit this one. Yeah, of course, of course.